Hello chaps, Wolfcore here. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been thinking about for a really long time. And I've kind of reached some new conclusions with it today. And it's in relation to where we do our streaming. Now for a while people have been asking me, hey, are you ever going to move over to Twitch or Mixer or do something different other than YouTube gaming for your streaming? Because YouTube gaming, is a platform that you can stream on, but it's definitely not the best platform. As you guys know, there's like a pretty long, like 20 second to 30 second delay for chat. It lacks a lot of the features that Twitch has. Hi, doggo. I'm, I'm recording, could you hush? Um, I'm at work right now on lunch, so I thought I'd make this video real quick. But yeah, like YouTube gaming just isn't the best for streaming. I think we all know that. Um, but I haven't been sure where I wanted to go or when I wanted to go there. But I've been giving it a lot of thought. And I'm like, this all started today because, as you guys know, I'm an electrician now. And I was just doing my job and I was like, you know, I like being an electrician. This is tight, you know. If the world fell apart, if World War III happened, I would still have a job. People would still need electricians. It's it's a good job that I feel proud to tell people what I do. It's a job that I can make decent money at, but it's not what I want to do for the rest of my life. What I want to do is be an entertainer. I want to, you know, my dream job is essentially what Markiplier does. You know, I want to make YouTube videos and be popular enough to be able to support myself doing that. And then I found streaming and I found that I love streaming too. And the thing is, is that there's a, it's a lot easier to make it streaming because it's a lot easier to get paid streaming than it is to make it as a YouTuber because you just don't make that much in ad revenue on YouTube. Like in the past two years of being on YouTube, working my butt off, I've probably put about 2,000 hours into my channel, maybe $1,000, $1,500 in equipment and stuff like that. I've made maybe 20 bucks in ad revenue, maybe. And even if I, YouTube would stop fucking with their partnership policy and I'd kept my partnership this whole time, I still wouldn't have even made a hundred bucks yet. Like, and that's a lot of fucking work that I've put into something that just doesn't pay. If I had put all of this time strictly into Twitch streaming, I'd probably be a Twitch partner already and have made probably several thousand dollars, maybe more, you know, with the incentive that that making money gives you you can, you know, it's it's gonna incentivize you to do it more. Uh, you know, obviously it's not all about the money, which is sort of a, a topic that I wanted to get into. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I have to make money. That's just the reality of it. I want to do this out of passion. I always have and I always will do this out of pa passion, out of love for what I'm doing and love for this community. And you know, that it means so much to me, but I have to make money. I have to make money to pay my bills to eat and do stuff like that. And I'm thinking, you know, if I'm going to have to have a day job until I make it on YouTube and get that, you know, million plus subscriber account where I can actually support myself just making videos, I'm going to have to pay the bills somehow. So if I were to transition over to Twitch and focus on getting a Twitch partnership and making money like that, maybe in the next couple years, I could support myself doing that. And if I'm going to have a day job that's focus is more on supporting myself, it's like, why not do live streaming? That way I get to hang out with you guys while I'm, you know, at work making money and grow, you know, my channel, this whole wolf gore thing. I can grow that while I'm making the money that I need to do what I want to do, to make videos and stuff like this, to vlog with you guys, to have this community. So I'm thinking... It's about time. We've been on YouTube over two years now, and YouTube has not been the best, uh, <laughs> the best parent to me. You know, I can think of two times when YouTube has really gotten behind me and like put my stuff out there to help me grow. The first time was very recent. I've talked about this several times recently, you know, I made that video, Life is Good. You know, YouTube was like really pushing my content for a minute there, for about a month. I had a really good month on YouTube a couple months back. I peaked at like, I was getting like 5,000 views a day, which is like way more than I've ever got. 
and I was just getting new subscribers on the daily, like two, three, four subscribers a day, just because YouTube was showing my videos. They were pushing my content out there. And then that just stopped. And it's impossible to know why YouTube does what YouTube does because it's all an algorithm. You know, you're all, I'm, you know, I'm working for a robot and the robot just doesn't seem to like my channel very much. Like you guys do obviously, but YouTube just doesn't push my content. I don't feel like YouTube has my back. They, fuck, they've taken my partnership away twice, despite how much I've put into this channel. And, um, you know, I think Twitch just has a better reputation than that. Uh, but yeah, so that was the most recent time. And there was actually one more time way back when I started and I was making the Melisandre the Red Dragon, my very first Let's Play, the first real project I took on right when Dark Souls 3 came out. And I remember I had been posting videos thinking that they were all just going to take off and get hundreds, thousands of views. And, you know, I was getting like three views, five views, one view. And then I had this video. I posted it when my buddy Mecca came over. And a couple hours later, we went back to check on it. And it had like a hundred views. And I was like, oh, fuck, it's finally happening. Like, after a couple months, like, it's, it's finally catching on. You know, these things are starting to snowball. And then I check it the next day, and it's back down to like 10 views. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it finally happened, and YouTube, like, was like, no, 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 no. It's too soon. It's too soon. Like, you're not gonna get the snowball effect yet. You gotta pay your dues. Now, it was so weird that they, like, took the views away. And I even, like, took pictures and recorded a little video with Mecca. I don't know if I still have them. They might be on my camera somewhere. But... Yeah, because I was so excited. And it's just like, all of this just, I keep thinking about it and I'm just frustrated. I'm still frustrated with where I'm at in life. Like things, it's been a hard past several years. Things have just been really tough, really tight. And things are finally on the upswing now. And I'm thinking I need to keep things on the upswing by making smart changes, smart decisions for myself, smart decisions for the future of this channel. And I've been doing that. And doing some really hard things lately like getting totally sober and you know just focusing on my health and my physical and mental well-being and my future and stuff and this just seems like a really clear next step to move over to twitch and i think it's going to be twitch i don't think i like mixer because it's like microsoft only and they don't allow ps4 streaming bloodborne is my cornerstone and it's a ps4 exclusive so i kind of feel like that's just not the right place for me. I'm kind of taking that as a sign, but I'm kind of thinking that, yeah, Twitch is the place we need to go. I need to buckle down, focus on getting Twitch partner and uh, try to try to really turn that into something so that I can support myself in this industry as opposed to being an electrician and then trying to get into the industry of streaming and entertaining and whatnot. Uh, it just seems like the smart thing to do. And it's a decision that's, you know, involves money. So I've kind of been skeptical about the change. You know, I don't want to make decisions based on money. I want to make decisions based on passion. It, what's right for the community. But sometimes those things are the same, you know. And I think this is the direction that we need to take the channel in so please let me know what you guys think about what i've been talking about are you okay with that i'm sure a lot of you already have twitch accounts um if you do have a twitch account if you want to go over right now or sometime hit the follow button uh i'm wolfgore i'm pretty sure it's wolfgore underscore og on twitch because wolfgore is fucking taken but uh yeah if you want to go do that we can start migrating the community over to twitch slowly we're not going to be implementing any crazy changes today or next week or anything this is probably going to be a process that i'm working on from now until maybe the end of the year maybe a little sooner before we really transition over you know i, I want to get the moderators over there i want to get as many active subscribers over to twitch as i can and uh kind of figure out what the deal with Twitch is. It's going to be a whole new world for me. I'm going to have a whole lot of shit that I have to figure out, a lot more work that I have to put in. Uh, but that's totally fine because it's going to be a better platform and it's going to be a positive step forward. Um, as for what's going to happen with the YouTube channel, 
absolutely nothing. The YouTube channel is not going anywhere. You're still gonna see these vlogs. We're still gonna have this stuff together. If anything, I'm probably gonna be vlogging on the channel a lot more. We're doing it at least once a week right now. I might try and move that up to two, maybe three times a week. Um, what you're not gonna be seeing on the YouTube channel is simply the live streams. And we may be cutting back on gaming uploads just because I need them to do well and they're just not getting any views and it's like what's the point of making a video that takes four hours you know a quarter of my weekend my work weekend you know half of one of my weekend days that nobody sees um, and I'm not saying those are going anywhere but that's I'm not really making any progress by making those upload videos uh, yeah, which is kind of a shame because that's really what I want to do. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, put a pin in that. Put a pin in that. I'm not saying the uploads are going anywhere right now. We're going to continue the Doki Doki Let's Play. Uh, but we may be putting the brakes on those. That might be a change that we see. I don't know. I don't know. Put a pin in it. Put a pin in it, Wolfgore. Stop thinking about it. <laughs> Stop talking about it. You have to keep thinking about it. But yeah, the vlog is definitely still going to be happening. And ideally, I'm going to come up with a way to record the live streams in HD and then upload them over to YouTube. Typically you need two rigs to make that work, but I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I can get a second rig if I have to. Maybe I can borrow a rig from somebody. I don't know. But hopefully the YouTube channel continues to be as good as it is and continue to improve over time. And then the Twitch becomes the main focus of the live stream. But guys, I have been talking to myself for almost 15 minutes now without taking a break. So I think I got everything that I wanted to say off my mind. If I have any additional notes that I wanted to add, I'll record them once I'm back home this evening and slap them on right at the end of this. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please go follow me on Twitch, WolfGoreOG. And uh, I love your faces. Like this video if you liked it. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you're new. Beardheart. Bye, guys.